Hello you guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Cheryl here at the Made on Sunday studio and I talk all about branding, design and creative entrepreneurship on this channel. So if you are creating or growing your own creative business right now, then be sure to subscribe to follow along. Now in today's video, we are actually gonna be going through the new Canva brand hub. Now I know you guys probably know this already, but in the last couple of months, Canva has come out with so many new updates and one of those updates is to what they previously called the brand kit now known as the brand hub it is basically a place where you can um, set up all of your logos your branded elements your photos your graphics your fonts your colors and all of that into one space making it super easy for you to create branded content and graphics on the Canva platform moving forward. Now, I realized that I actually filmed um, a video about the old Canva brand kit almost like two to three years ago. It was actually, I think, one of the very first videos that I filmed for this channel because I, like, the brand kit is like such an integral piece to every creative entrepreneur who needs to create social graphics for their business. So it was actually one of those key videos I knew I needed to film when I started this channel. Now, since it's been two to three years now and there has been dramatic updates to the Canva brand hub, I thought it's definitely due to film an updated tutorial. So in this video, we are gonna be going Going through how to set up your brand hub on Canva and how to use your brand hub to boost your social graphics and branded graphics for your business. All right, so let's get right into it. Let's hop onto my laptop and check out the Canva brand hub. All right, welcome to my laptop. We are on the Canva pricing page right now. And as of filming this video, these are the prices to uh, the different Canva accounts that are available. They may be different priced or even different structured when you are finally watching this video. But essentially there are three accounts right now. There is a free account, a pro account, and Canva for Teams. I personally am on the Canva for Teams account. So if you see that my screen is slightly different, that's might be why. Um, for everything that we're doing today, or for at least most of what I'm showing you today, the Canva pro account will be um, like good enough. Um, and so, yeah, I highly recommend getting on the Canva Pro account, especially if you're using Canva for business. There are just so many more features on the Pro account that will really up-level your uh, design capabilities on Canva by being on the Pro account. So if you haven't signed up for Canva yet, remember to head to the links in the description below um, and try out Canva Pro for free. All right, so we are going to head to my Canva account now and let's look at the brand hub. So right on the very left-hand side here, you'll see this little crown because again, this is only available for the pro account. And when you click into it, it shows you the different brand kits that are within your brand hub. So I work with a lot of different clients and so these are just some select clients that I decided to create their brand kits on my account uh, because maybe they don't have their own account or whatever it might be. But today we are going to create a new brand kit here and we're gonna create it for one of my latest clients that I'm working with called Strong Core Mama, just as an example. So we're gonna create that here. And within the brand kit area, you're gonna see a couple things that we are going to bring into your brand kit. So there's logos, colors, fonts, photos, graphics, and icons. And so uh, it's really easy to start dragging um, your assets in here. I'm just gonna open up um, my, my brand kit here and these are, this is the brand that I created for my um, client. She's a physical therapist, um, specifically pelvic floor physical therapist. And this is the brand that I created for her. So essentially what I'm gonna do is recreate this, but on Canva so that she can use these assets moving forward for her account. I have her files here open on another screen here, and I'm just gonna drag in basically 
all of her logos. So we've created quite a few logos here. So I'm just going to drag in like some of them. Um, and so I'm going to actually uh, drag in SVG files. So there's two types of files that I recommend dragging in here. Uh, you either uh, drag in the PNG file or you can do an SVG file. So um, for most brands, you will at least have a PNG file. So that's a high resolution, no background image. Um, of your logo, but if you have an SVG file from your designer, I actually recommend bringing in the SVG file um, instead because an SVG file is like as big as your graphic is, it'll always be high definition. Whereas for a PNG file, if you are, you know, if your PNG is this size and you're trying to blow it up for a billboard, it's going to be looking very blurry. So with an SVG file, um, it will adjust to the size of your graphic and it'll always be high definition. So drag in your SVG file if you have one. And we have most of the logos here just within like a minute, they are all uploaded. Super easy. Next we have the, the colors. So I'm just going to drag these colors in. I'm going to copy the hex code. So if you worked with a designer again to create your brand, then your hex codes will be on your brand guide. And all you do is copy and paste these colors in here. All right. So we have all of the colors loaded in here. And then next we are going to go to your brand fonts and, um, we have, a three different brand fonts here that are used for the brand. So for our headline, the new Canva brand hub actually has a lot of different types of um, typefaces for you to kind of fill in. So there's like previously there was just three different fonts that you can bring in, but now there's actually like one for every type of style um, that you're hoping to use for your brand. So for the title here, I'm just going to use, um, I think we use Playfair display for this one. So I'm just going to pop in the Playfair display here. And then for subtitle, um, I'm going to be using this, um, inter font. Now, if you're bringing in, oops, if you're bringing in a custom font, which inter might actually be a custom font here. Yeah, so they only have, they don't have the inter extra bold. So if you wanna bring in your own font here, all you have to do is click on add new and upload a font. And then I'm just going to look for that font here, which is inter in extra bold. So that's this one right here. And then you can confirm to upload. Um, just gonna wait for a few seconds. All right, and once it's uploaded, you can look for the font. And if it doesn't show up, then maybe just refresh your page, but it should show up just like this. Um, and you can actually change the, the size of the fonts um, as your default sizes, but doesn't really matter. Um, and then for the headline font, again, I'm going to use Playfair Display. Um, unfortunately, you can't change like the letter spacing um, and even like how you like, let's say if you want to do all um, all uh, capitalization, you can't do that here on the brand hub. I'm really hoping that that is a future update here because that would be super helpful. Um, but for now, um, we're just going to have to kind of style those on every single page. Um, and then I'm just going to put in the body font, which is man row, which might actually be another, yeah, another custom font here. So I'm just going to upload that one as well. All right. So now we can type this in and it should show up. There we go. And then if you want, you can, um, fill in the rest of these as you need. Um, and then we're good with the brand fonts here. All right. For your photos, if you have brand photos, um, for your business, then be sure to drag those in. Um, currently we don't really have brand photos for this client and I don't really want to show her 
face here. So I'm just going to leave this blank for now. For her graphics, we did actually create some graphics for her business. So I'm just gonna drag those in. Um, now, some of the graphics that we created for her brand are actually icons, but um, you can either drag it into the graphic section or into the icon section. It doesn't really matter. It's just kind of grouped differently. And there we go. All right, so we have now filled out her whole brand kit and uh, we are ready to use this brand kit. So the next thing that you can do within your brand hub is branded templates. So within your brand templates, uh, you can actually create templates for your team. So for example, if I created this Pinterest template right here, if you click on this, you can actually click on use this template and this would create an automatic copy of this um, document right here so that I don't um, you know, mess with the original here. So this makes it super quick and easy for you to create templates for your business to use um, without, uh, so that you always have a template for any type of uh, graphic that you might be creating. So if you click on add new here, let's just say you wanna create an Instagram post template. You can just click on this right here and anything you create on here, um, you it will then become a template. So let's just say, let's go to the brand here. And by the way, this is how you access your brand hub. So if you go into brand hub here, you're going to see all of your brands um, here. So let's just see, now we've figured out Strong Core Mama and we can use these brands um, assets in order to create this Instagram graphic. So why don't we head to the logo? So if you go right here, you can actually pick the brand kit that we're using here, which is Strong Core Mama. And I'm just going to bring in this little logo right here. And then I'm gonna bring in one of her icons let's just say we want to create, um, you know, uh, an Instagram post about you, uh, like, let's see, let's add this in first and then we can change this to the lighter brand color here. And when you click on color and anywhere, the brand colors will actually show up. So that's super convenient. And we are gonna make this text a little bit bigger and we're gonna name this post maybe like, um, this is a template, so it doesn't really matter what you label this here, but let's just say we call this um, postpartum uh, workouts. Is that how you spell postpartum? I hope so. Um, all right, so I'm just going to leave that there. And then I'm going to add an image. Maybe we'll do like, um, let's see. Let's look for this one right here. So this would be where you can put an image that's related to that post. And then I'm going to end this with a little subtitle here. And I'm going to also color this with the light color. And we're gonna put like um, swipe, swipe to learn more, something like that. And this actually needs to be spaced out properly and it's way too big right now. Actually, I think the spacing was 300 on the brand kit. So I'm going to keep it like that. And then this will essentially be um, the post. And so if you wanna make this into a template, all you have to go is go to, actually it's right here already. So publish as a brand template and it's already gonna be saved in the brand template folder. So we just click on publish right here and it's going to show up in the brand template section. So I'm going to go back. It's gonna show up here, but it may take like a minute or two to show up. So hopefully it'll show up soon. Oh, there you go. So 
it's taking some time to just kind of um, put it together, but hopefully in a minute or so, I'm gonna call this like strong core mama Instagram post templates. And then there we go, there it is. So that is how you create a brand template um, for your business. And so now all you have to do is once you are ready to use your brand template, all you can do is click on the brand template here, use this template and it will automatically create a copy of this template. And then super easy, you can go into your brand hub here. Again, you can access all of your branded materials here, but my favorite um, tool in the brand hub is actually to use this shuffle um, icon right here and it'll actually shuffle through all of your brand colors and give you all the different alternatives that you can create with this uh, template. So it makes it super quick and easy to kind of create a different variation of your graphics with all of your brand colors here. All right, so I hope that was helpful and that is how you put together your brand hub on Canva. All right, and that is it, you guys. I hope you found that tutorial helpful. And if you did, be sure to like this video and subscribe for more videos like this. By the way, if you love this tutorial, then you might also love my Skillshare class called Canva Basics, Launch Your Creative Business, all about designing on Canva for your business. I'm gonna leave the links to the class in my description below. You will actually get your first month of Skillshare for free if you sign up with my links below. So you can take the class pretty much completely free and all the thousands of other classes that both I offer as well as um, amazing educators offer on the Skillshare platform. So if you're interested, the links will be down below and I guess I will see you in the next video. All right, bye. <laughs>